Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, I wanted to share a new technique with you today on OCD and I found it to be very helpful. Um, basically what you're doing is you are kind of feeling it or you have a mindfulness going on of where the thought is located. So before you actually identify with it, you see it in your mind. It's a very pow powerful technique. Um, so basically, I want you to pay attention to what side, when you have an obsession, what side of your face do you feel it on? Now, I know this might sound weird or like a little out there, but um, I want you, the next time you have a thought to see, okay, is it on the right side of my face? Am I hearing it in my right ear? Or is it on the left side? Now, interestingly, I found that all my... OCD thoughts, all my worries, all my fears, all my anxiety, all my feelings that is not rooted in truth, it's on the right side of my body. And before, so I see the right side as the false OCD self, but the left side as the, um, the higher self, it's the true self, it's the one that's not rooted in fear or thoughts. And um, whenever I operate from this side, the left side, there's no fear. But if I'm on the right side, it's a totally different feeling. It's anxiety driven. You can feel it in your body. It's almost like it's localized. So try it to see when you're worrying about something, ask yourself, okay, is it the right side talking? The right side is the non-truth. And you know it because you can feel it. You can see it. Sometimes I see it it's usually, I hear it like right here. And interestingly enough, the left brain has, it's like the side of logic, right? It's a sign that's overworked in the OCD mind. So the hemispheres cross. So anything on your left, you're going to feel on your right side of your body. And anything, so the right brain is more creative um, hemisphere, more free, intuitive. You feel that because the, left, the right side is the hemisphere that crosses over to your left. Um, so I found that it's not that so much that it stops the OCD, but it stops your identification with it because you know that it's your right side speaking and the right side is not grounded in your true self. Um, so try that and just make it into awareness. What side am I seeing it? If it's on my right side, it's not true. Um, when you see yourself operating or jumping into the right side, switch to the left side state of being, which is free, it's vast, it's open. And I can't explain this for you, you kind of have to feel it for yourself. And um, let me know how that goes. And um, if there's any questions, I can answer about this. This is just kind of the start, I can delve more into it in later videos, but um, keep up the good work and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.